Hi, this is PC Roger, and in this short video I want to cover this uh, annoying little box that we uh, have been seeing recently a lot from Adobe Flash Player settings. And from the near as I can tell, the reason we're getting it is because apparently a lot of uh, companies must be increasing the amount of uh, data they want to store on your computer from 2 uh, kilobytes to 10 because that's what we're seeing on most of these requests. And here you can see the actual website, which is probably not going to mean much of anything to you. A lot of times it's an ad, or in this case I'm on Yahoo, which uh, uh, throws up just all kinds of garbage, so you never know what it is. But maybe it's a video you want to see, uh, maybe it's not. But if you do want to see it, this annoying little box seems to just be in the way, and you're like, why, why in the world am I seeing it? Well, from what I've uh, noticed on machines we have, clicking allow or deny does nothing. It's not really even a button that appears to be working at all. And in many cases, like on the home page of Yahoo, the actual uh, play bar is in the way. And if you try to click it, you'll just change uh, change where the, where the video is playing. It'll skip around. But one thing that does work is if you right click and you'll see settings and global settings and uh, you can see here about Adobe Flash Player, so you know you're, you're working with Adobe Flash. And if you click on Global Settings, you'll get this box here. And you can see where you have some options, allow sites to save information, and maybe you just click that. Part of it is going to be what you're comfortable with. Now, I hate to have companies uh, and everyone just dumping miscellaneous crap on my computer, but these days it just seems very hard to avoid that. Well, that, that's fun. As I'm trying to do this, uh, the the actual uh, Flash Player Settings Manager is, is hanging up on me. Uh, maybe it's because I'm trying to record it, I'm not sure. But bottom line is you have these options, and you can click on Local Storage Settings by Site, and most people aren't going to have any idea what to do with that. It will pull up a, a list of all the different sites that have saved uh, 2 kilobytes or 10 or whatever on your machine. And you can pick and choose who you want to have uh, uh, do that, but I would guess I would say if you just want to get rid of the uh, annoying little box, you can probably just say allow sites to save information and uh, and let it go with that, and then perhaps uh, you can get rid of uh, this stupid little box. Uh, I'm not 100% uh, sure how it's going to work in every situation, but that is what we're going to be trying to do for people, and we might uh, report back in the comments what our success and failure rate is. It. But in the meantime, it is just a just just a, it's an annoyance. It's a pain. We're just having a lot of trouble with Adobe Flash, uh, being up, updating it, and still getting messages that uh, it's out of date. So whether they're making some changes, I'm not sure. But there there are some vulnerabilities that you uh, are opening your stuff up to by allowing Flash. But again, if you want to use the internet, it's it's pretty much you're, you're about going to have to do it, at least on a Windows PC. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot of content that you're just not going to have access to. So again, if you, uh, you right-click this box and select Global Settings, you can hopefully get this Global Settings Manager, and uh, maybe it will and maybe it won't uh, respond for you. I, I've never had this happen before, so I think it's because of the recording. But, but try that out, and just know that you can go back in there and you can change it. And if you try to disable, you'll see you get this pop-up message. Blocking all sites may disable functionality on some websites. Yeah, probably. So the Ask Me is why I think you're getting the, uh, the actual box pop-up. If you click Allow, it might just go away. And, uh, and if you want to, you can clean it up by clicking, by clicking Delete All. And kind of, it's not going to save you a lot of space, but it might, uh, it might at some point keep Flash Player from locking up if it's giving you trouble. So that's it for this video. Try that out. I'll report in the comments uh, what you find out, and uh, we'll uh, see you next time.